the second legal method of catching an alligator in Arkansas is with a handheld snare, which is what we're going to assemble now. A handheld snare is pretty much nothing more than a cable snare, uh, such as this one right here, or these examples are put on the table as well. They come in a variety of sizes as far as diameter cables and lengths as well. Um, anywhere from a, a beaver snare, couch snare, uh, to this one right here happens to be a hog snare. Uh, bigger diameter cable, more strength, uh, it doesn't have to be. Any one of these three right here will be adequate. You can purchase these at your local hardware or farm stores. Um, they're cheap, easy to buy them by the dozen when you do get one. Uh, on your way out, I'd recommend you have at least two setups, two rigs in your boat with you. So in case one fails or you need a second one, you'll have it available for you. Um, setup is pretty simple. First, take your cable, uh, roll it out. So this right here is a hog snare, stiffer cable. I have gone to the point and attached to a cable swivel in the middle of it. Uh, the purpose of this is when the gator starts doing his roll, it helps reduce the kinking of the cable. The kinking of the cable can compromise it, which weakens it, which means you have possibility of losing your gator. Uh, this little thing in the middle of it works pretty good. Not necessary, you don't have to do it, you can tie straight off to your rope. Uh, rope, half inch solid braided nylon, half inch by choice by me. It's a bigger rope, easier to handle, doesn't have to be. You could use quarter, three eighths, it's your preference as well. About 20, 25 feet in length is all you'll need because you don't want so much that you can get down on the bottom and get underneath stuff. Unlike the harpoon, once you put a snare attached to the animal, you have a little more horsepower with it. You can hoss him in because the snare does not give. The more he pulls, the tighter he gets. So you're not apt to pull this off of him or he cannot pull out of it either. As far as pole selection, um, there's a variety of things you can use as well too. You can use, once again, you can go back to use bamboo. You can go to the local hardware store, buy a wooden dowel rod. Uh, for myself, I prefer a painter's pole. It's adjustable. This one right here, six foot, goes out to 12 foot. Um, pretty much you can adjust it wherever length you want it to be. Um, personally, myself, I'm in a boat, I'm gonna have it out to about eight, 10 foot. That's me just as far as handling goes. Um, the way you'll set it up is, on the end here, I've placed an alligator clip once again, totally not necessary. This is my preference and choice. Alligator clip is just designed to help hold it a little bit. Take it, put the metal clip in there as such. Make your loop. Once you make your loop, this is the reason why I like the hog snare. Heavier cable makes a good uniform loop. Now, when you go to set out making your snare, keep in mind what alligator you're looking at, what size of the animal. You don't want to go to a three foot, I mean a four foot alligator with a snare this size too big he'll come out of it on the other side you don't want to take a snare this size and try to catch a 10 to a 12 foot alligator his head will not fit in there so you want to kind of judge that as you're going out there once you've established the size loop you want masking tape do not use duct tape masking tape is easy to tear and what I'll do is I'll take masking tape and I'll go right here and I'll put a wrap, one wrap around the snare right there. Then I'll come on back down the pole and I'll do the same thing again. All I'm doing now is securing the line, the rope onto the pole so it's out of my way. Once you've done that down the length of it, you're now ready. You've got your cable, you got your nice loop on the end of it for whatever side of the animal you're thinking about. Test to your swivel, down to your rope. Now, just as with the harpoon, when you hook this thing up in the boat, everything can get chaotic and pretty messed up at times. Take the tag into your rope, either A, tie it off to your boat, which is, or take it and thread it through some type of floating device. It can be a jug, it can be uh, a Coke bottle, it does not have to be anything specific, just something if you was to drop this overboard, you don't lose your rope. As with a harpoon as well, do not tie this rope off to your person, off to yourself in any way, or wrap it around your arm thinking, oh, I'm gonna hold on to him, because they can start rolling up the rope once you get them beside the boat. So you wanna give him as much slack as you can. Once you slide it toward an animal in the water, you wanna take this, slide it over his snout, past his head, Ideally, you want to get it passed up here to where his front shoulders, his front legs are. You'll pull it up to him. As you get back to him, cinch it up. 
it comes down it has a locking snare so it comes down it does not back off so the tighter he pulls the tighter he gets the tighter he gets these will have to be typically cut off once you get your animal on board because they just they, they kink up so bad always keep as well in the boat an extra roll of tape with you masking tape is great it tears easy but if it gets wet you may have to retape two or three times during the hunt uh, like I said once again do not use duct tape duct tape does not tear um, once you have secured a harpoon I mean the snare around the animal let him do his thing let him roll let him tire out he'll eventually just float up to the surface at that point you can make your shot strategically to where it needs to be placed